Now it's Monday, which means we're going to start our week out right with some live music. So excited about this. We are so happy to have Studio Entertainment. And if you like musicians from North Dakota, you have no doubt heard of Chuck Suki, who is joining us now on the show. Welcome to Studio 701. Thank you so much for being here today. Hey, it's great to be here. Oh, it's been so lovely listening to you warm up this morning, and we appreciate it because I know you were saying that you normally get up for chores between 3 and 4 in the morning <laughs> and then go back to bed. Uh, but this morning, we're mixing it up with you a little bit. So thank you for that. <laughs> uh, um, can you tell us a little bit about what got you into music and how long you've been performing? Uh, music was always part of the household. Uh, my dad played some fiddle and uh, a little bit of accordion, and my mom taught piano. And uh, there was always a dance at the local Bohemian Hall, about a mile from our place. And, and uh, so music was not uh, estranged in any, it was just part of the life, and, uh, and still is. And uh, like my dad just had favorite bands that would come and play at the dances at the hall and and as a little kid I got to sit on the edge of the stage and and watch the music being made which was really exciting to feel the feel the stage floor bouncing to the foot stomping and the drum and 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 seeing the work of music being made and the joy that was brought forth both for the performers and and the dancers and so it was just part of it. It wasn't anything odd. Mm -hmm. And Chuck, now you are the patriarch of a very musical family here in North Dakota. So what's it like to see your kids perform at such a high level? Well, what does patriarch mean again? <laughs> what was that fancy word? <laughs> oh, it's just been, it's been a, a crazy fun experience and painful at times and extremely overflowing with joy for the most part and to see them follow their own their own paths uh, within the world of creation and 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 music and uh, so that that's been great and uh you know we did have our family the the von suki family for a <laughs> while there and, and that was great and then they just sort of exploded in their own ways yeah well, it's wonderful to see them follow in your footsteps, and we've had Ben on the show. He's incredibly talented as well. Thank what you. kind of music do you like, Chuck, to play and listen to? Well, just what I do, basically. I've always been attracted to the, the more earthy um, side of things, and so the idea of acoustic guitar, uh, the wood and metal and and just my voice, is that's always been a main attraction. So early on uh, for role models, early on, there were guys like Eddie Arnold and, and some of these country players that really played and, and had just real guitars and, and, uh, and played them. So, but I didn't start playing guitar until I was, in, um, I was uh, in the junior in high school. And, uh, and then, of course, by then, the urban folk revival was in starting to happen. So there was the Bob Dylans and the, and the Peter, Paul, and Marys. And again, it was kind of that on the earthy side of things. And mm -hmm. that just fit in with my lifestyle on the farm. Sure. And you got your guitar with you today. Uh, what are you going to be singing for us, sir? I'm going to sing you a song that came. This, it's fairly new. Um, I was involved in this project with the... Council on the Arts called Art for Life, where artists get involved with, uh, um, in particular, elders, but also people who can't get out too much and in retirement homes and, and so forth. And the idea was for artists to go in and, and just work with the, the people there. But when COVID happened, I wasn't able to go in and do songwriting workshops, so I had to do it via telephone interviews. And so this song came about after an interview with four um, women all in their 90s, mid to late 90s, who, are, who live at the Heritage uh, Retirement Home near Jamestown. And we were just talking about how they were dealing with uh, the confinement of COVID. And I was so taken by their enthusiasm and their joy and their optimism and their zest for life. And that's how this came about. Well, we can't wait to hear it. We're ready when you are, Chuck. Okay. This, I'm not even sure what this is called. I haven't really <laughs> entitled it yet. It's like it's like Four Women Wise. <laughs> Two, three, 
before Donna was a small town girl Met the man who changed her world A farmer with a wheat field law Thirty years they worked it on When he passed she carried on Farmed alone A quarter century She talks about the days to come To be afraid she ain't been one Never bored Never have been Oh, we worked with horses And the Saturday danced our cares away Oh, we worked with horses Never knew we were among the common poor Gladys grew up farm girl strong Met a man she loved right on They married and dairied In the evenings quilts were sewn To warm souls of those unknown Her love to ride on Loretta had the marriage best Until he met eternal rest He was who he was A happy fella She looks upon her working hands No longer strong, young, or tan They built a life Now good for nothing Oh, we worked with horses And the Saturday danced our cares away Oh, we worked with horses Never knew we were among the common poor When they talk of what's to come it will be toughest on the young Who don't know joy can get you through Who never knew what we had to Francis, filled with fortitude She's got a gift, good attitude Young at heart, most important part It was a pretty darn good life I was a pretty darn good wife To a pretty good man You do the best you can Oh, we worked with horses And the Saturday danced the kids away Oh, we worked with horses Never knew we were among the common poor Never knew we were Among the common poor Love it. Chuck Suki, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. A storyteller and an entertainer. Thank you so much. This has been Studio Entertainment. We get to hear one more perform performance from Chuck a little later in the show. Stay tuned for that. But coming up next, do you know what a doula really does? We get to ask two women who want